right now, right this minute, I'm probably the least popular man in the whole of the Geneva Motor Show because I'm standing in front of everybody's shop right now of the all new Aston Martin DB11. So there's gonna be lots of people wandering past, don't worry about that. Okay, what can I tell you about this car? I don't have much time. This car is totally new from the ground up. It's built on a new aluminium, uh, uh, aluminium chassis. It's powered by a new 5.2 litre V8 twin turbo and it generates 447 kilowatts and around 700 newton meters of torque. That means this thing can hit 100 kilometers per hour in just 3.9 seconds and top out at 322 kilometers per hour. What else can I say about this car? Well, there's some really interesting features. Um, there is something called an aero, sorry to look at my notes as somebody else walks through the shop. There is an aero blade, uh, which is this which is this air intake on the side. What it does is it pipes air across the back of the car and exits just at the back of the tailgate, and that apparently increases the downforce on the car. Other features of the Aston Martin DB11 is that new 5.2 litre V8 features cylinder deactivation. This means when you're not on it, it acts like a 2.6 litre straight six, so that should benefit fuel consumption. So far, a manual gearbox is unconfirmed, but most cars will come with the eight speed automatic anyway. The rear limited slip differential, meanwhile, features torque vectoring for the first time, so it should be easier to drift. Size-wise, the new DB11 is around the same proportions as the DB9. It also weighs the same, around 1,770 kilos. Other new technology is electronics donated by none other than Daimler, thanks to their technical partnership. It also helps out Mercedes-Benz owns 5% of Aston Martin, so they get the money back somewhere. In the future, surprisingly, well, I think it's surprising, but this car will also come with Mercedes-Benz's autonomous technology. I didn't expect that coming. Um, Price-wise, unfortunately, it's gonna be a lot more expensive than the current DB9, um, but it will be a better car, and it's nice to see Aston Martin's design finally progressing.